Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's photography video, we're going to be shooting and styling. We're going to be styling and shooting self as before we shoot. We're going to style and shoot breakfast food items. You're probably thinking, what food are we actually shooting? Well, we're going to shoot these. It's like granola. Toasted granola, which I made earlier. So, if you are keen on shooting food, this one is for you. Shooting and styling. I keep saying getting styling but we will be styling and then shooting. Okay, the first thing that I think about when doing a food shoot is what vibe do I want to create? I'm thinking breakfast so light and bright and that is going to determine what surface we use. So for today's shoot I'm going to be using a marble tile and my backing is just going to be a white board. See this white board I just got this from the hardware store. When it comes to shooting food, my props are generally kitchenware. Two wine glasses. I have chosen one stemless one and one with a stem on purpose because I want the height difference. That'll give us some dimension. This is cheesecloth for some texture. Oh, we're actually also gonna use the jar or the, what is this called? This actual, is that a jar? No. Jars are like, you have a screw lid. This is this canister canister we're gonna use this canister a candle well actually we're gonna use the lid you'll see where later and my other two most used props gold spoons and then to bring it all to life we're going to use the cinnamon which is an ingredient in the granola and some honey which is also another ingredient I'm gonna be shooting outdoors that's where we get the best light but a lot of people like to shoot right next to a window or if your kitchen gets a lot of natural light a lot of people shoot right in their kitchen but I'll be shooting outdoors today I'm gonna to be shooting on my Nikon D750 and I'm using the 24 70 mil Nikon lens for this particular shoot I'm going to be shooting sort of front on so not from the top but like this because the way that we're gonna present food is in layers different layers and I feel like you can always show layers off a little bit better when you shoot from the front rather than from the top maybe that's just my opinion okay let's hop to it first things first I've placed the surface down and now I'm going to put the support and the background for the support this is a crate and then I'm gonna pop this white background on in the back the next step is I'm gonna put on some gloves I'm putting on gloves because we're working with glassware glassware gets fingerprints really easily so <laughs> we want to avoid the fingerprints the next thing I'm gonna do is place my glassware. The glassware is gonna be empty because food ends up losing its freshness and the look of its freshness very quickly. So that's the last thing that we're going to plate and style. This is just empty glassware because that's where our subject's gonna go. So now that I know what it's kind of gonna look like, I'm gonna place the props. This is the cheesecloth. We're now adding a layer and texture. So the same kind of principles apply for me when I'm styling food or anything for that matter, whether it's just products or food, I always like to layer with different textures. Okay, the other prop is the candle lid. So this is gonna give us just a little bit of color. I think I like the look of that. So some items are in the back, some items are in the foreground. The next thing is our accessories, which is our spoons, maybe in there as well. And then what I'm planning is to have some granola in there and maybe have some granola pieces out here. Have this one with milk, granola and yogurt as you would eat it. This is gonna be my base setting. I'm ready to add the food, here we go. So I'm gonna keep this closed for a little while. I just realized because I'm shooting outdoors, we have a little challenge. Our challenge is insects. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep that closed. And then I'll open that when it's ready. And then now it's time to place the food. You will probably not have the same challenge as I do if you're shooting indoors, but shooting outdoors does have its challenges like insects, wind, moving light. I'm going to bring in the extra granola. Let's open this up so we can get a visual of what it'll look like when it's open. Maybe grab a little bit there. Okay, I might even have some on the spoon. And now we accent with my extra granola. 
With using food as accents, I kind of do like to have a little bit of a method, so I like to keep a little trail. Now I'm going to do some test shots without removing the lids of the food just yet. I'm gonna frame it, see if I like it, and we're good to go. All right, time to shoot. A big part of shooting food is styling the actual food itself. So this is where your plating skills will come in really handy. If I wanted to add a pop of color and extra dimension, I'd add some berries or figs or apple slices to the food. As long as the food complements each other, it's generally a winner. I do use my presets when I edit my photos. So I've added a link in the description box of this video in case you wanna check them out. These presets make my life so much easier and make all my photos pop. And now I'm going to eat it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I am uploading photography videos every Wednesday and other topics on other days. But if you like photography, well, you can tune in every Wednesday. And if you decide to shoot some breakfast food or any food for that matter as a result of seeing this video and then you share your photo online, make sure you tag me because nothing excites me more than seeing your creations. If you have any comments or questions, please pop them in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I kind of have a little list of things that I want to shoot over the coming weeks, including silver jewelry. But if you have any other special requests, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.